What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And man, it is your boy on here with some more shit. And we are talking about this situation with my man, Jimmy Fallon, right? Now, Jimmy Fallon is a American comedian. Used to be on Saturday Night Live. And he's on the Jimmy Fallon show. Everybody knows about the show. It's pretty popular. Tonight show. Really, many people think a very talented comedian. Now, you guys know me. I am nigga five, right? I don't really like white comedy or, um, you know, a lot of white comedians. Not that I'm racist, but I'm I, I'm like, you know, because black comedians and white comedians are different. I do love Jim Carrey, though. Uh, Jim Carrey is the truth. But Jim Fallon, from what I've seen of him, Definitely, Jim Jim Fallon is uh he's, he's talented, right? He's good, and um he's been doing this thing for quite some time. Uh, but you know me, I'm like community content. I like black comedy. I can relate to it a little bit more. Uh, but anyways, uh, Jimmy Fallon has come under a lot of criticism for this particular content that he did 20 years ago, making fun of Chris Rock on Saturday Night Live in blackface, all right? Now, blackface, for many people, it's it's pretty much what white people would do to basically, as a non-black, used to be a caricature of black people. And a lot of times it's with racist archetypes, okay? And it's typically to demean blacks to make them sound stupid, make them sound dumb. And it is automatically a synonymous with racism, okay? That's just really what blackface is. Uh, in the Netherlands, they have like a blackface, con- like a, a blackface holiday, and um, it, it, it's very, very controversial. Okay, I think they call it like um, Zawarte Piet. All right, and um, the Chinese people they do that also. To most African Americans, especially in the earlier times in this country, it's very offensive because we know what blackface means. However, Jimmy Fallon is in comedy, right? And um, he was making fun of Chris Rock, and I think to some people the impersonation was very accurate. And now that that clip has resurfaced, and people are calling for his show to be canceled. He has now come out and apologized for it. Now, Dayton Music, Jimmy Fallon says, in 2000, while on Saturday Night Live, I made a terrible decision to do an impersonation of Chris Rock while in blackface. There is no excuse for this. I'm very sorry for making this unquestionably offensive decision and thank you all for holding me to be accountable. Now, I mean, he isn't the first person to do something like this, right? Um, I believe the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, was found in blackface. Uh, There are a few governors that has, you know, been in in blackface. Uh, Ralph Nortman. Um... Governor of Virginia was found to be in blackface. So when people see white people do this, it's not that you're not making fun of black people. It's just that, you know, the way that it's done has been synonymous with how racists do it. And that's the problem. J- 
Jamie Foxx, however, and now you have to understand too, in the 90s and to the 2000s in that era, I remember that, you had a show called In Living Color, right? In Living Color would make fun of, that's why In Living Color would never work today. You can make fun of gays, you can make fun of whites, you can make fun of, like, remember there was Handyman, you guys? Um, in Living Color, like, in Living Color made fun of everybody, right? Handyman was a superhero, like, making fun of people like that. You could never do that now, all right? You just couldn't. But at that time, people were not as sensitive. So, so in the 2000s or in the 90s, everybody was roasting everybody, okay? And I remember those times. You could roast gays, you could roast handicapped people, you could roast whites, you could roast blacks, or vice versa. Jamie Foxx comes from that era, all right? So before people start calling him out, like, you know, calling him a sellout or whatever, this is the era that comedians were working with. Go to the 80s, it was worse, all right? Roasting people and talking shit about people and being racist, it was just... American comedy was 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 more relaxed. It was, I think, a little bit more interesting then because it didn't have any restrictions. Um, Jimmy Fox comes out and says, "Dig music, bro. You ain't gotta apologize for shit. You're a comedian and a great one at that. You did an incredible impersonation of Chris Rock. It was not blackface. We did a show called In Living Color where we did a character from every race." You are all the way good. Keep doing you, my friend. You are necessary. And then in the other part, he says, some of y'all didn't even see the sketch. Relax and laugh. It's other motherfuckers out here that really don't care about you. Use that energy for them, but leave my mans alone. Now, the question is, is Jamie Foxx standing up for uh, Jimmy Fallon. Is he like caping for him? This is a tough one, right? Cause I, I, I remember I'm, I'm from that era, right? The nineties, early 2000s, that's like the nineties. I see where Jimmy Fox is coming from with this though. It, it's really not, I don't think he's really caping, right? I see where it's coming from with this and he has a goddamn good point. That's comedy was like, it was open season on everybody. But here's the situation, okay? In this day and age, looking back at that, the time was different now. You can't explain that shit. Jimmy Fallon can't go back and say, Dig music! Well, you know, in the 90s and 2000s, uh, you know, it, it was a different time. So that's why he can't say that. He's a white guy putting on blackface, making fun of the guy. And even though it's comedy, it's racist. I'll say this. At the time that this is happening, somebody had to at least think like, yo, it is blackface. It is associated with how, I mean, like, you understand what I'm saying? Somebody, I mean, there, there, were there. In my opinion, could you have made fun of Chris Rock in another way? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I just don't know, right? I'm just gonna be honest with you, because I remember those times. I can't come out and necessarily say that it was a racist thing, but it is racist at the same time. I mean, like you guys get what I'm saying. Comedy at that time was just, that was the culture. Like we roasted everybody. Jimmy Fox was doing the same thing with white people. I mean, Eddie Murphy was putting on, uh, you know, uh, white face and roasting white people and shit like that. That was just the time, man. But here's the situation. In today's time, he got to apologize for this shit because everybody is so sensitive to it. You understand? And even then, in 2000, you got to know that, hey, blackface 
is associated with racism. I probably shouldn't d do this, right? Because if you put on blackface in 1910, 1920, 1930, 1940, 1950, it's racist, period. And I don't think Jamie Foxx is capable for him. I just don't. I don't think he's selling out. I just think that Jamie Foxx is a representative of that time. I think I think um, Fallon made a very bad decision. And people weren't looking to, to move on. That's just it. Right? So, guys, what do you think? Um, subscribe. Hit the bell. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Uh, check out the first comment pinned to the top. Uh, Black Men in Perfect T-shirts. Let me know what's going on. As you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.